Okay, so today is a magnificent day. I finally have water on the premises. I'm busy filling up my Jojo tank over there as we speak. And we've had no water on this premises since I moved here in the middle of November. It's now beginning of February. So it's been a little while since we've had water on the premises. I have managed to keep the worm farm alive by not disturbing the existing vermicompost that was there. But it's finally up and running and today I did quite a lot of additions and adding to the existing worm farm mixture, the vermicompost that I have here. So now I have in here what I could find in the way of leaves. I have cardboard pieces which I still got to soak a little bit more. They will hold and absorb and hold moisture in here. Um, let's come on down to the other side. I also added on, added in here today some vines from gem squash. Yes, gem squash vines. I've got a whole lot of parsley I've added in here today. I've also added in some compost. Now this compost is not compost made from manure. It's actually an organic mixture, but it's, um, it's not a manure based mixture. And I added it just to add in some extra minerals and vitamins and add in some grits in the way of a little bit of sand. I mean, the worms don't live in sand, but they can use sand to help them like eggshell to swallow their food to get it down. I'm going to show you what else is going in here. You can just follow on with me, young lady. Just come on, just, I'm still going more. It's quite a long worm farm, this one. Okay, so I've been collecting, of course, my old food scraps. I've had them in the freezer. Um, they are starting to defrost, so they're starting to attract some flies. Now, of course, the old favorite. That can go down close to the where the big crop of worms are. So I'll spread this out a little bit. I'm going to cover everything up. There are potato peels in here. There are carrot peels in here. Uh, there, uh, this was previously frozen. Um, look. My wife even gave me another one of their most favorite foods. Putting it down the bottom where most of the worms are. In fact, I think I'm going to take most of this stuff. It's really broken up itself. And I'll add it to that bottom end. Um, what else have we got in here that I wanted to show you? Okay, I'll take cardboard as we go along. I'll take cardboard. Excuse the flies, but they're after the, the food that's been sitting out here waiting for me to film. I'm just going to use our uh, passion fruit or we call them granadillas in Cape in South Africa but they passion fruit um, we had a have a somebody who likes to give us bits and pieces they can all go in as well uh, this whole bag can also go in and get biodegraded uh, let me show you what else I'm adding ah coffee coffee grounds all right over the weekend uh, they had a coffee shop going here just want to see if you get some light on there it's the ground coffee and this I will also sprinkle liberally throughout the entire worm farm before I close it up so that's still got to be done and leaves I added a lot of these leaves already but I do have also some organic manure yeah I have organic manure now this organic manure is a little bit on the dry side but it's marvelous marvelous stuff so this will also get added on, added in, it needs to be wet down, it's very dry at the moment, but I will add it in, and then I will give everything a good stir. And what else can I show you? Okay, so this is the long idea of a worm farm, everything coming in on one side and moving down. The intention is that the bottom end gets finished off first, and all the new stuff comes along and gets moved down to the bottom now. Unfortunately, this has almost all been made at the same time. It is a small exception. Come on back down this way, please. Uh, I did start with my existing vermicompost, vermiculture stock here. There's castings, it was mostly vermicompost, but there was some vermicast as well. And all the worms, so they're all down in this bottom end. Yeah, I'll show you quickly. Uh, if we can just get down a little bit deeper than this to give you an idea so this is now their existing bedding mixture and uh, you can see a lot of babies have been born this weather you in the shadow there you go and a lot of uh, wormies in here there's an egg right over there for those of you that have never seen an egg before so the worms are being born into this environment 
there you go there's a and it's difficult to see it's a, it's a it's a lemonish shape Okay, tough to see and maybe you can't focus on that. But anyway, there are worms in there and they are surviving. So they're on this end. And the idea is to put the older stuff next to it. So they move out of their existing vermicompost and into the, the next level of bedding. And so it works all the way down. Now, I ended up putting it down all one side. So the other side needs to be still built before I can start doing this migration. And it'll come out of here and end up in one of these two baths. It'll end up in either one, either one of these two, which is then going to be processed um, into these bars. Now, come and have a look at this one. Now, this is very, very close to being a finished product. In fact, it is a finished product. It's a Fermi, Fermi cast product, and this one is what you want to have in your garden. If you're going to go and buy something, this is what you want to look for. Uh, don't worry about the plastic. This is a biodegradable bag that I'm doing an experimentation on to see how long it takes to break up It's been six months already and it is breaking up into smaller pieces, but it took a lot longer than I expected it to do So there you go that is What my worm farm out in uh, Philippi looks like today the beginning of February uh, The only other thing I haven't shown you is the harvester which I've managed to move and get in here uh, this will be for harvesting any compost that needs to be filtered through a finish mesh. The mesh is around about 3x3mm three three and then obviously everything that falls out I'll catch and I will use uh, to manufacture my Nutri-Pops or to sell or to combine and make up the specialist soils. So thank you very much. I'll come out the shade and you can just get me. So thank you very much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm not quite sure where the like and subscribe buttons will be. We'll have to work that out when I get there. And uh, please join me for another adventure at um, Vermi Culture by Robin's Nest. Uh, that's what I'm trading as. I'm actually Soil Be Built. So Soil Be Built trading as Vermi Culture by Robin's Nest. Don't forget to like and subscribe.